Hey everyone, Genevieve here to talk to you all about the upcoming new moon in Libra on the 6th, which I believe is Wednesday morning, uh, around a little after 7 a.m., so 7.05 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, the moon will be new in the sign of Libra. Um, we know all about Libra is the sign of the scales, of justice, of balance, of beauty and grace, uh, fairness. Um, all of those ideals are really held true to um, anyone in the sign, born under the sign of Libra and the Libra energy. Um, normally, a Libra new moon is very positive, very friendly, um, kind of creative, romantic. This one, however, is, uh, I hate to, to sugarcoat it, so I'll just give it to you the way it is. This one's going to be um, pretty disruptive, if not downright dangerous for a lot of folks. The energy is just really going to be um, erratic. There's a quick uh, outburst of anger, irritation, um, and a lot of that, most of that has to do with a an aspect with Mars and Uranus and Mars and the moon. Um, there's also a couple of strict planets that have been retrograde that will be going direct shortly, uh, Saturn being one of them, which, you know, Saturn is the taskmaster, the disciplinarian, um, and Pluto as well, which Pluto rules the underworld, um, along with Neptune. Neptune will be going direct, I believe, later in October. Um, that, but currently, they're all in retrograde, so there's been kind of a slowing down, a pause on some kind of irritations, aggressions, also things doing, having to do with um, finality, with death, with um, darkness, shadiness kind of thing. So all of that is going to kind of be highlighted during this new moon, sadly. Um, so let me just kind of highlight some positive things to look out for and to focus on and to really kind of try to emulate and project um, to help you get through this really rocky few days with this new moon. Okay, guys? Um, so the positives first, um, because sadly there are less of those than the negatives this go around. Um, there is um, that Mars energy is going to give you, um, you know, initiative. It's going to give you drive. It's going to give you, you know, sexual chemistry. Um, it's going to kind of spur you to action in some things, which can be great if you are trying to get some projects off the ground, get things going. Again, a new moon is a time for new beginnings, new projects. Um, I would say at this new moon, wait wait a few days like if you want to kind of write down or meditate about your intentions that's fine but don't actually uh put anything to into action at this time because of all the negative energy that might push back against you might quash your ambitions um might actually physically uh try to restrict you or to challenge you in in a physical way so don't kind of act on anything and don't react. That's the biggest thing. Our, our reactions to things are really what control the outcome in most cases, right? So um, there is ingenuity, uh, a possibility. Uranus is in there with his inventiveness, its wacky craziness. Um, so that is, you know, possible craftiness, good or bad, um, is highlighted, Um but, and, and then again, I did mention, you know, there is some passionate energy in the air, some, some, uh, some good sexual energy, some good, uh, charisma, things like that. Um, whatever you do during this new moon phase, do it with the best, with the highest intent. So, you know, if you are, um, well, first of all, check your impulses and think twice because this new moon is going to bring a lot of rash behavior, a lot of impulsiveness and accidents or uh, fights because of erratic and impulsive behavior. Um, so pause and think twice before you act on anything or react to anything, but just make sure whatever it is that you're putting out into the atmosphere, into the universe, directed towards other people is positive, okay? Um, otherwise, you will have a swift uh, retaliation coming back at you. Um, 
and karma is very much into play at this time. So, um, you know, that also can, kind of goes along with the Pluto, Saturn thing. So good karma is possible to come back to you if you've put it out into the universe. If however you've um, recently or even years ago, this is kind of the time that some of your bad karma, the bad stuff might come back to you. Um, so be prepared for that. Okay. Um, but it will be kind of like a karmic ending to, to negative cycles. So a lot of times in order for that to happen, there does have to be kind of a, a combustion an explosion, a, you know, a kind of blow up and, and then it's settled once and for all. So, um, Again, these are the positives of, of this new moon. So um, let me get into some things that you need to uh, look out for. Okay. Um, well, where do I start? Impulsivity. I'll go back to that. Um, everybody's going to be on edge. Everyone's going to lose their patience, be uh, aggressive, rash. Um, if you're working on any projects, especially anything that breaks in your home technology, you know, appliances, even cars, um, you might just get really impatient and, uh, irritable about it. And then you'll mess up what you're doing. You have to start all over. So it's going to be a lot of frustrations in that way. Um, you might be very bored or feel restricted and limited because of Saturn. And so um, you want to try to refrain from being too rebellious. Um, you need to maintain some self-control because you will, that karmic wall will hit you and kind of stop you from whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. Um, this tension is going to build over the next few days. And, and we've noticed just kind of being around town today, people are already starting to, to be a little bit uh, short with people um, or just acting bizarrely. So just watch out for that. Um, the best way to use all this unsettled, agitated energy is safe physical activity. So exercise, you know, go for a bike ride, go for a jog, go for a swim if it's still warm enough or if you're privy to a heated uh, pool where you are, um, you know, go hiking, do something um, physical that can help you burn off some of that, that erratic kind of agitated energy. Um, do not use dangerous, uh, machinery at this time. Be patient with your computers or electronics. Um, you might feel pressure, um, from, to change something about yourself from someone, an authority figure or someone who has some kind of power or control over you. Uh, most people's tendency would be to rebel or to push back against that, but just try to be patient. Um, try to be flexible, be cautious in the way you respond again. Um, and, and don't kind of push an issue, um, cause there will be a lot of unintended consequences, negative consequences for anything that you try to force at this time. Um, you're going to just have a lot of extra energy, electric energy, which is exciting. Um, don't take it to the extreme. Uh, don't do anything rash again. Um, it can be a little scary at times because you might just feel, you know, it, it, there's got to be an outlet somewhere. Um, we're going to get back to some of that sexual energy that I talked about. Um, so th this new moon, the, the danger of it is, is personal danger, physical danger, sexual danger, um, destructiveness, um, d malevolence, just, just kind of a real dark kind of energy. Um, but, um, the justice, the scales of course are going to be put into play. Um, Try not to judge others too harshly, but be prepared to be judged very harshly for your actions at this time. Um, globally, I mean, this could be, this energy could affect um, wars, rebellions, um, kind of everything that's kind of been going on in the Middle East and even, you know, in, in, in the Caribbean and, uh, Mexico and everything, it's everything's kind of reaching a boiling point at this time. So there could be a lot of things globally that you're going to notice. It just going to be sparked terrorist attacks, cyber attacks, um, assassinations are very possible at this time. Um, 
yeah the the aspect with uranus and and mars is bringing out the most destructive aspects and and energy in mars right now um but again that judgment and that karma is going to come back and it's going to be swift and it's going to be um it's going to balance everything out so if you've done a lot of good you know you should expect that back if you've done a lot of bad well your your punishment will be swift and it will be harsh and it will be appropriate um so that's kind of what to expect during this time just watch guard yourself be on your guard again the best way to work with any negativity is to just to force as much positivity as you can into it try to you know, balance the situation, try to weigh on the side of, of forgiveness, of understanding, of peace, of harmony, like the Libra sign truly stands for. Um, you, you can work with some of the energy in a positive way. Um, again, you could, there could be a lot of creative. This could be a very passionate time if you are respectful and kind and and you know just the higher side of of humanity basically and your dealings with others at this time uh, but again just be careful with machinery be careful with being impatient with things things are going to break things are going to stop working you're going to get frustrated everybody's going to be agitated and on edge so just keep that in mind in your dealings whether you're at work or just your day-to-day -day errands running into people at this time everyone is feeling this going to feel this erratic electric energy and every not everyone's gonna deal with it as well as others so um my blends now this has been my my new moon and libra blends for a few years now but i still believe it's going to be great with this new moon it's called free love and um and the reason why i think it's going to work well with this because it's definitely going to help us find the positive help us find the compassion and and the you know forgiveness and and the the good in in people at this time it's going to help us stay calm it's going to help us stay focused on the good that's in our own lives it will kind of enhance any creativity um any spark of passionate energy at this time it's also calming and i did add for this particular new moon some protective oils some black pepper and pettigrain um to to kind of help protect our home protect our personal energy from being attacked from the outside um but it includes a lot of florals so and a lot of calming and and bright um energetic oils like geranium roman chamomile sandalwood um which is a, a very spiritual ceremonial oil it's also very sensual i used jasmine and aroli and rose and lavender and palmarosa um, I use lime, which is very bright. It gives you energy. It's creative. It's also kind of keeps you in a good mood. Um, juniper berry. And as I said, black pepper and pedigree. So guys, um, again, definitely sage. Definitely. If you've never saged, go out and buy a smudge stick right now. You want to smudge your home. White sage is fine. I actually recently bought black sage, also known as mugwort. And that's what I'm going to be saging with. On this new moon, I've I've done like small spot sages with it since I got it, but not my whole house, and it's definitely going to be going to be done. Um, charge your crystals, you know, meditate, pray, find physical, say physical outlets for your extra energy and tension. Please, whatever you do, otherwise it will build up in your body, and you'll just be like a tea kettle, ready to just scream your head off. So. Um, Anyway, guys, that again is going to be Wednesday morning around 7 a.m. The energy, you might already start be starting to feel it or definitely by tomorrow and, in, you know, for the following two weeks leading up to the next uh, full moon. So till next time, stay safe, stay peaceful, loving and namaste and blessed be. And we'll be talking about the full moon close to Halloween in a couple of weeks. All right, guys. Bye bye.